what you have here is a post jet engine. A post jet engine is uh, in such a uh, reaction engine. Our reaction is a combustion of air and fuel. We have our fuel and our air intake. What happens when you have a fuel mixture, fuel and air mixture, uh, along with the ignition source, it combusts and pulses. That combustion creates a thrust uh, when propelled through the tailpipe. Uh, this happens rapidly, maybe up to 150 to 250 cycles per second. So as the rapid combustion increases, you have your pulse, your thrust, which propels the car forward. Uh, post jet engines of this size can run up to 30 to 40 miles per hour. What we ended up using was um, an off-the-shelf RC car, and we modified it to fit our needs. Instead of using power on the motor, which came with the RC car, we redirected it and put the power on the fuel fuel pump so that it could pump the fuel from the fuel tank through the fuel pump and into the chamber for a direct ignition or a direct injection. Uh, we also have um, LED lights on there just to indicate which way the throttle is being controlled. And that's pretty much the pulse jet engine. <laughs> Now, the purpose of this project was to develop an embedded system that would help uh, save money in the long run. It's an ROI type project for uh, UPS. Uh, we developed a prototype that will hopefully yield um, some good results so they could possibly in the future change some of their processes. Uh, the main purpose of this project is to correct errors before they get on package cars and it's too late to package it in uh, mid route delivery. Now we're going to check and see if this package is a misload or if this one is. One of these packages belongs in the truck and one of them doesn't. So if we scan it, it should be able to tell us which one belongs and which one doesn't. In this case, this is the good package. It belonged in the package truck and it would be delivered. This one was scanned. It would throw an error message and let the user know, hey, this doesn't belong on the track, don't load it. And that's our project. The project is uh, quite simple. Uh, the chocolate company in Fredericksburg had a problem they uh, needed to extrude more truffles. Their truffle business was exploding. But uh, they were currently hand piping every single one of their truffles. So, that was causing strain on a uh, single person who was trained to hand pipe them and uh, wasn't producing them fast enough. So she asked us to come up with a uh, semi automated solution for this. A faster way, easier way to actually uh, extrude the troubles. And this is what we came up with. It's temperature regulated to keep the chocolate in timber. timber. It's made out of mostly stainless steel. It comes apart completely so it's easy to clean. And it uses a bag system on the inside to make sure it doesn't get that dirty.